Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my world. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys through how I took down these old cornrows and we're going to discuss how much shedding is too much shedding. So if you're interested, stay tuned for more. All right, so these braids are super duper old. I've had them in for about four months and it was in a time period when I was pregnant and I didn't really have the energy to do my hair and be consistent with doing my hair. So I just kept them in cornrows, underneath wigs and stayed inside. All right, so starting off, I am taking off the hair like I normally would, unraveling it from the tip to the root. And I decided to use my fingers just because I find it much easier to use rather than using like a rat, rat tail comb. Um, rat tail combs tend to pull on my hair and sometimes create more tangles. So I tend not to use them to unravel my cornrows or braids or whatever. Now we've gotten to the root of the braids and as you can see there's quite a lot of buildup um, and it's to be expected because I've had them in for such a long time. Now I've reached a spot in the cornrows where um, I would encourage everyone to be a little bit more gentle um, just because right where the buildup is located, um, there is, it's, it's very heavily tangled. As you can see, I am having to, you know, pull the hair apart, pull the strands apart. Um, and that's because of the knots that you know has formed right there uh, where the buildup is so just carefully separating the strands and taking out the knots would go a long way in saving you um, from having to experience heavy shedding So at this point, I've gone through that section of my head to, you know, take out the knots and carefully finger detangle. And this is the amount of shedding that I got just from that little section. Now this brings me to the second segment of this video where I want to discuss how much shedding is too much shedding. So I looked online and I found this page that says that hair shedding is a part of a natural balance where, you know, some hair falls out while some others grow in. And when this balance is interrupted, that's when we then have hair loss. So hair loss is very different from hair shedding. And as you can see just by the images, it's very visible that these are indications of hair loss and not hair shedding. Also, according to Healthline, it says that it is normal to lose anywhere from 50 to 100 strands of hair per day. And I just want us to keep that in mind when we now speak of, you know, the amount of hair we're supposed to lose when our protective styles are in. I say this and I share this to bring perspective to how we view the amount of shedding and hair loss that we experience um, whenever we've had a protective style in. Yes, there are 
guidelines and fundamental things that we're supposed to keep in mind and practice whenever we're taking down our um, protective styles to minimize the shedding and you know amount of hair loss that we experience however I believe that um, since we are keeping our protective styles in for upwards of two months the amount of shedding that we then experience during the takedown of these hairstyles is as a result of the amount of hair or shedding that we're supposed to experience on a daily basis so for example i've had these cornrows in for four months which four months is roughly 124 sorry 120 days so as i am taking down these cornrows i'm expecting that i would get or have 120 days worth of shedding if that makes sense so with that being said i believe it is absolutely normal to have a medium large ball of hair when you're taking out your protective style that you've had in for months i would like to thank you all so much for watching and please let me know give me your opinions down below comment and let me know what your thoughts are or perhaps what your experience has been um, i look forward to reading your comments all right guys i'll catch you in the next video bye